When you do the distance in three dimensions, you're doing the same thing. You're taking the difference in the x's squaring, you're taking the difference in the y's squaring, and you're also taking the difference in the z coordinates squaring. You add all those quantities together and take the square root. That gives you the distance in 3D, right? Now the midpoint formula, it's more like an average. You're adding the x coordinates together and dividing by two, you're adding the y coordinates dividing by two. In three dimensions, you're also going to be adding the z coordinates and dividing by two, and that's going to give you the midpoint of that line segment in space or in 3D. So let's go through uh, example number one. So here you can see they're giving us 5, 3, negative 2, and you can think of this as x1, comma y1, uh, comma z1, okay, so just in alphabetical order, and then this is like x2, y2, z2. The 2 just means point number 2. Now, the z, I put a little line through it just to differentiate it from the number 2, because sometimes z does look like 2, right? So let's do the distance uh, formula first. So distance, what do we do? Well, what we have to do is we have to subtract the x's. So I'm going to do 2 minus 5, the quantity squared, plus negative 1 minus 3, the quantity squared plus 3 minus negative 2, the quantity squared. Now be careful with those negatives. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is positive 16. 3 minus negative 2 is really like adding a positive 2. That's 5 squared, which is 25. If we add those together, what do we get? It comes out to, let's see, that's 41 plus 9 is 50, so the square root of 50. But we can simplify that into 25 times 2, or 5 square root of 2. That would be an exact answer for the distance. Okay, now for the midpoint, same kind of idea. What we're going to do is we're going to, uh, just like the two dimensions, we're going to add the x's together and divide by 2, y's and z's the same way. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got uh, 5 plus 2 divided by 2. We've got negative 1 plus 3 divided by 2, and we've got 3 plus negative 2 divided by 2. So if we simplify, this comes out to 7 over 2. This comes out to 2 over 2, which is 1, and this comes out to 1 over 2, which is 1 half. And that's going to be the, the middle, 